Hi, this is Dave. It's been a while since I uploaded my previous video, and there are two reasons for that. Uh, one, I'm quite busy actually lately, so it's kind of difficult to find time. And secondly, it's getting harder to find good uh, topics. The AI style openings and uh, Joe Seki are becoming quite uh, popular actually. Other teachers, such as my own teacher in song, they cover uh, many topics uh, already and I don't want to overlap with those other uh, lessons. But I found a topic that I haven't seen covered elsewhere yet, so, so I think that's interesting. Like in my previous video, I'm also using Lila Zero because not all variations are covered in AlphaGo's teaching tool. I think Lila is getting pretty close to master's level. Of course the database was made with 10 million playouts for every move in the database. And on my computer I can get maybe 10,000 playouts if I let it think for a couple of minutes. So that's still only a small fraction. But at least I can uh, just try some alternatives or see some continuations. It's good. There are some differences between Leela and Master. Leela's win rates are a little bit different. For example, when we start with an uh, empty board, Master says Black has 47% win rate. So the Komi of 7.5 is maybe a little bit too big for Black to pay. And Leela uh, 0 even only gives 43% win rate for black. It thinks black's, black has an even worse situation. Overall, I get the impression that Leela's, Leela's win rates are a bit more pronounced, a bit more exaggerated, you might say. So I try to take that into account when I compare evaluations of Leela and Master. Okay, for today's topic, I chose an opening that was popular in the 1960s. You might say, well, it's so old-fashioned, how can it be relevant today? Well, it's a 3-3 opening. 4-4 four, four stones nowadays get invaded at 3-3. You might be annoyed with that even. So one way to avoid that is a 3-3 opening, especially with white. Neither Master nor Leela think there's anything wrong with it. So let's begin. Black plays a star point, white plays a 3-3, three, three. black plays another 4-4, four, four. and white plays a 3-4 point. This was fairly common in pro games in the 1960s. In particular, the professional Sakata Eo seemed to like this opening. He was a very famous and well-respected pro in Japan. He was one of the most successful players of all time. He was very tactical and territorial and was famous for his sharp play and his brilliant Tsuji. His sharp play earned him the nickname the Razor. He liked uh, three three-point openings and he played this opening several times. Many of those games were against his great rival Takagawa Kaku. Takagawa Kaku was fond of uh, for four points and thickness. So this opening happened quite a few times. We might call this white opening the Sakata opening. It doesn't have a name as far as I know, but I would like to call it the Sakata opening, the honor of Sakata Eo. He was not the only one nor the first one to play it, but it fitted his style. I will first start with some of the simpler variations. This high approach with the low stone in the lower left corner is quite okay for black. White attaches, black blocks, white pulls back, black connects and a jump extension and white splits the right side. This has been seen in pro games in the 1960s including a game between Sakata and Takagawa. This is not in master's database but Lila thinks it's 44% which for Lila means it's an even game. One improvement by Lila is to invade at 3-3. Three, three. 
this is in master's database and it's okay for white master things. Leela thinks it's only marginally better for white. Another move for black is to build the left side a little bit bigger. White responds and black defends the left side. This is not in master's database, but I just show this one for brevity. But this move loses nothing for black. It's an even game. And again, white can evade a 3-3. It doesn't matter much to approach from this side. Another even opening. This is the a casual, calm opening with black. You can play the high approach. A little bit better is the low approach, slightly better. And also usually played in pro games. And Master also thinks this is the tightest move, 1% better. Of course AI will respond to this move. And also in modern pro games you will find white responding like this. This is a good continuation by black calm extension and white continues to build the upper side. This is an even position. Another way for black is to defend the upper right corner. It's an important point. This is also a calm opening and it's kind of a mei. So white pincers um, black's approach stone. Also an even position. The best move according to master and lila for black is this is the vital point. This is an aggressive continuation. The other responses by black are fine too, so it's a matter of taste. If you like fighting and attacking, you can play this move. And white pincers and black moves out, according to Master and Lila. This is the expected continuation. This fight is not over yet. Black will probably continue to attack two white stones on the left side. This is an even position. This is a modern move. Back in the 1960s, when Sakata was playing, the normal continuation by white was a two-space high pincer. This pincer, you don't see it very often nowadays, because pincers are now considered overrated under influence of AI. They just don't think that pincers are really good. But in the 1960s, this was just the normal move. And in Sakata's games, the normal response would be for Black to pay, play this Kasumi. This was a human Joseki. White plays a knight move and Black moves to the corner. I will show a continuation from a game between Sakata and Takagawa. White extends on the upper side and Black attacks White's pincer stone. White ignores it and builds to the lower side. Black defends the right side and white develops the upper side and jumps into the corner and the game continues from here. This position is an even position. When I check it with uh, AI, Master and Leela, they feel this move is a little bit suspicious. But white's response is also a little bit suspicious. So what, what are the improvements? White should extend more solidly here. I think the reason is a black move at A does not hurt white on the upper side. So white's pincer stone is stronger. It's harder for black to attack. This is in master's database. It now attacks it more carefully. This continuation is in the database. Master thinks it's okay for white and so does Leela. Black lost about 3% uh, here. So actually this exchange, master thinks, so black shouldn't make that exchange. This is a small improvement. Black still has the option of playing at A and white has to worry a little bit about the upper side. So black can attack the pincer stone. This is an even position. So if black plays this Kasumi and he continues correctly, he will get an even position. But a master thinks Black has an even better move. You may have seen this move. This is the shoulder hit, kind of signature move of AI to refute pincers against a low 3-4 approach. White pushes, black blocks and white cuts. There's still a human Joseki from this. This is the Tsuji. This is a human Joseki. 
white extends, black extends, white captures black shoulder head and in exchange black diffuses white spincer. Now this is a Joseki, however, Lila thinks this is only 35% win rate for black, so it's actually bad. Some explanation I can come up with, the marked black stone is on the inside, while white's marked stone is still on the outside. And perhaps also very important, white kept sente. So this move is a big mistake actually. If black continues with the joseki, black loses 12%. Now the AI move is of course this blocking move. It was played a lot by master against the professionals and Lila also agrees that this is the best move for black and pros also play it nowadays. It's still a very complicated fight. I postponed this Joseki from my uh, videos. I didn't really understand anything about it so I avoided it in my own games. My opponents never pincered me so I don't know. But I got to learn by investigating this uh, with the uh, master but backed up with Leela. Without Leela I wouldn't have been able to investigate this very deeply. It's so difficult. Um, this is the normal continuation. White harness, black blocks, white connects, Atari extend and defend. Now there are several branches. The first move has been seen in uh, pro games, perhaps playing against Master. Professionals were still thinking back then that this was an overplay by Black. This Joseki was just too uh, too dangerous for Black. So perhaps they were a little bit uh, overconfident and that this was best for White. Of course, it makes sense to defend the corner. The corner group doesn't have uh, eyes yet. So Black extends. This extension defends against a cut, a White cut at A, and also Black is threatening to jump in at B. To, uh, to take away white's eyes. So white blocks and this move I haven't seen in uh, professional games but this is uh, Lila likes to play it. This is also not in the master's database. At least I haven't found it. I like this. It's a kind of a Tsuji. Now white this push is threatening to play A or B and black has this nice Hane move. This gives up the marked cutting stones, but in exchange black will get a nice outside influence. This move threatens white to play at A. White can capture the black cutting stones, but this move does it in a little bit more efficient way, ensuring white has access to the center and preventing black from squeezing when white pushes and cuts here. So black defends, white cuts, and now the Black cutting stones are captured. Black has some forcing moves. According to Leela, this is uh, very good for black. 60% win rate. White has a center, but black sacrificed his marked stones well to get a great shape on the outside for the rest of the board. So I can understand that this is uh, quite okay for black. So perhaps this white move is not the best. It loses 8% win rate. It's actually quite a big mistake. So what then should white do? Perhaps it's a smart for white to push here to prevent black getting such a nice outside. But this push loses Aji and helps black. Black can still settle his group on the left side. And these pushes, they give black points on the upper side. And white's outside shape is still cut in pieces. White is too busy. And this is also 59% win rate. Very good for black. Thanks Lila. This fight is not over yet, but it's much easier for black. So this actually doesn't really work well. The best move, according to Lila, is white climbing here. Taking the outside, leaving the corner vulnerable. But it's worth it, thanks Lila. Black defends the upper side and this is a threatening. White's corner, but white has to cover here to seal black in on the left side. Black jumps into the corner, taking away white's eyes.
and this is turning into a, a coal. This is 52% win rate for black, so it's quite okay. If black plays there, this is a coal, 40 point coal. It's actually unavoidable, I think, that it becomes a coal. But from this position, it takes two moves to win the whole corner for either side. This is 40 points and two moves for either side, so it's actually a four move difference. That's only 10 points per move. So this is basically 40 points uh, end game co, Jose co. So for now, I would say this is a split corner. Both colors have 20 points. Both can get 20 points extra by adding two moves. And black gets sente. And I think this is important in the evaluation of this position as okay for black. The corner is split, white's outside is a little, little bit better than black's, but black has center. So it's okay for black. That's my explanation for this. So by going down here, both players play correctly, it will become okay for black. 52% win rate. Master and Lila think white has slightly better moves. This is Master's suggestion. Sealing black in on the left. Black defends his group. Black can't really push out well. If he pushes out here, white has center moves against black's upper side group. So black cannot really get out well. White blocks. And this is Master's uh, suggestion. Playing a Kasumi. White blocks to defend the corner. Black starts making shape for his group. Master wants to cut here, make eye shape, connect here, and move out. White's upper left corner isn't really fully alive yet. White feels the liberty, threatening to play a double Atari at A. Black defends. White pushes. If instead white pushes in at a and cuts. Black crawls seven times to kill the corner. That's not really working. Black extends. White tries to play some forcing moves be before saving his corner. This fight is not over yet. But all the four groups from this original cutting Joseki are close to, to getting settled. This is 50% win rate for Black. Actually masters a database doesn't contain this position. This is where master's variation stops, so I had to investigate it a little bit further with uh, Lila. Master thinks this is 50% win rate and Lila 51, so it's basically okay for black. And this is a Lila continuation, 50% for black. It's okay for black. So let's go back a little bit. Actually, this Kosumi, it's Master's suggestion, but Leela is not so impressed with this move. Leela wants to play this move. It's much more aggressive. It's not in Master's database, but Leela is quite convinced that this is the best move for Black. And then I investigated this for hours with Leela. And my conclusion for now is that it's also a 50% win rate for black. Basically the same as Masters Kasumi. But it's much harder for white to keep this 50%. White blocks in the corner, black pushes, white blocks, and black plays this tiger mouth. This makes a proper shape. You might think, well, why doesn't black play this move now? But this is uh, risky. I will give an example to illustrate the Aji. Push here, push, and peep, connect, cut, extend, and now this is going. Uh, this is a disaster for black. Black has to be very careful. After some sufficient uh, playouts, Lila thinks this is the proper move for black. And now White starts a call. White could push at A, but that costs 
code threads and it helps black on the upper side. It's difficult to reach clear conclusions with Leela, but my conclusion is that white shouldn't push there and start the co immediately, saving the moves on the upper side for the co. This co, black cuts and white plays co. Black plays this co thread and now white plays this as a co thread. White saves all co threads, so Leela thinks Black should take the co now. Apparently, if Black responds, White has one more co thread. Is my hypothesis, and White now captures these stones. This local fight is more or less uh, over now, but Black has a sente, and this is 50% win rate. This might be the best variation for both if black slides into the corner. But it's, it can become very complicated with this co. The co is more difficult for white and I think this is the best way for white. Okay, let's go back a little bit. So this is master's move. Clida actually likes uh, this move better to defend the corner. It prevents the black slide. I mean this slide is prevented. Lila likes that slide very much for black. With white, it wants to prevent it. This is not in master's database. I've been looking very hard why this white move is not the best, but I cannot really find it. I think this is a, a fine move for white. Black pushes. White has two options. White can extend, increasing white's corner profit, and it allows black to take the outside. Again, Black has this Tsugi, this attachment, trading uh, the marked black stones for the white stone. White pushes, black blocks. And white plays here. It's a little bit different from the previous similar variation. This ensures white captures the marked black stones in Sente. And it's more important now for white to capture those stones because white's corner isn't really. 100% safe if he doesn't get those stones. So white wants to make sure he gets them with this uh, nice Tsuji. Black connects and white captures the stones and black finishes his group on the left side. So this is a sente for white. Still it's 52% win rate for black. So it's, it's quite okay for black. His stick position is uh, very nice. It may not be white's best variation but it's fairly simple and it's not so bad for white. It's only 2% worse than the very best variations for white. So you might play this, I think. A little bit sharper is for white to block here. Black cannot actually attach at A now because he has fewer liberties on the left side and there would be a white cut at B. Black has to block here. Now white is alive in the corner so he can play on the outside. Seal black in on the left side. One way to do that is this uh, master like move. This is not in the master's database but this is uh, only from Lila. Uh, black takes this stone to make uh, eyes. White also lives. Black has this attachment to settle his group. White defends his outside shape first and then blocks and this cross cut fight is a Lila continuation. This is 53% win rate according to Lila. Win rate for black. This fight is not over yet but I, I agree that this looks kinda nice for black. Black still has options to attack white in the center and there's also still options to attack here. Of course black's group here is also not fully settled but white has more issues than black I feel. So I agree that this is quite okay for black. Another option for white is to clamp here. We've also seen this before but the corner is a little bit different. So what happens now? Black pushes here once and then but black cannot get out. 
black can get in a cut here. The letter is good for black. So and now make an eye in the corner, white lives. And now this looks like a normal move. And this, according to Lila, this has a 47% win rate. So it's okay for black. But it loses 3% actually. Black is not that happy because white is okay on the outside and black's groups on the upper side and here can be harassed quite a bit by white black has a better option but this will be a very long sequence black's best option according to lila is to sacrifice everything here uh, playing some forcing moves to to get better shape on the upper side inducing some exchanges now white needs to defend here this is a sente and this shape is important later uh, for black as we will see and black now runs out of course the letter has to be good for black for this to even be possible white attacks black on the left side but black doesn't care black goes for the outside this is uh, sente and sealing white in white kills black's group now black pushes makes some more pushes to make a big wall it is in the middle in the center uh, now white attacks black on the upper side and now you will see the usefulness of this shape here it allows black to make a cross cut here because he can neatly connect his stones so this is according to Leela 50% win rate this was a very long fight but it's actually not that complicated this result might be best for both from this position so this and this both seem to reach 50% win rate for black it's okay for black The conclusion is that this move it's okay for black still it's not so easy and this pincer may lose about three percent compared to just responding might lose a few percent but it's quite difficult for black does black dare to play this because to get a better result Black has to play this and white can make some very complicated uh, continuation black can do it too but also there are some simpler variations for both colors and actually given this position Lila thinks that this push and cut is a little bit suspicious Lila is worried that this is not going to end well for a white Lila prefers to avoid this complicated fight with just pushing and continuing like this this is 47% win rate for black and this is a little bit better for white because if white pushes and cuts black gets 50% win rate so it makes sense that uh, Lila prefers this but if you don't push and cut with white then maybe it's better for white to not pincer at all and just respond to black's approach all right a quick summary so this opening for white let's call it the sakata opening to honor sakata eyo who played this a lot in the 60s a high approach move it's fine especially with this 3-3 stone, there's hardly any difference between the high approach move and the low approach move. But this is much simpler, of course. This is a normal continuation and an even position. From the low approach move, the best response for white is to, uh, to play a knight move. And black has three options, defend the left side, defend the upper side, or attack white. All three are fine. 
if white plays a pincer, which used to be normal until uh, master appeared, this loses a little bit. It's not that bad, but later on, black shouldn't slide into the corner and getting this result is even. It's much more complicated if black plays a shoulder hit after the push and cut. This used to be a Joseki, but it's actually a mistake. This is a bad result for black. Black should block here. This is the normal continuation. Master thinks white should cover here. I think this will lead to this position, which is 50% win rate for black. Lina actually prefers responding here. And the best continuation, as far as I found, is this continuation. 50% win rate for black. So it's okay for black, the shoulder hit. Well, that was it. Thanks for watching. Bye.